For the sign of Cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Cancer, in the recent past, we have mindfulness. And on the flip side of this card, it reads, manage your mind. When we direct our thoughts and words towards the outcome we most desire, we ignite grace. And mindfulness is paired with let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So in the recent past, for some of you cancers, uh, you probably had some control issues. And it's saying that you probably should have practice um, managing your mind, directing your thoughts and words towards the outcome in a healthy, positive way instead of with negative thoughts or controlling issues or trying to control the situation and just allow it to unfold naturally. So mindfulness and let go of control issues. And that way you would have ignited grace. Uh, the outcome would have been much better for you. That's what this is saying for your oracle advice. So, Cancer, let's move on over. Let's take a look at the recent past. We have the Six of Cups, and it's paired with the... With the um, is that the six? No, that's not the Six of Cups. I'm moving ahead. The Six of Cups is the why it's happening. <clears throat> they kind of look familiar if you think about it. So, the present time. Five of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Yeah, you see that thing that looks like a heart and it's got those three swords stabbed in it? That's you. For your present time and above that is the five of pentacles see i do know what i'm talking about it's late here in california but uh i'm, not, I'm good i can read these cards tonight so five of pentacles for your present time the five of pentacles it's showing that you're probably feeling less than secure. The thing to remember when you get this card is that there's always help available when you need it from forces that are seen and forces that are unseen. You possibly could be feeling alone when you get this card. That's what it looks like. You're feeling alone and um, maybe left out in the cold. But you have the capacity to change that, so you might want to reach out. You, for um, some of you cancers, you could be feeling as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Just realize that this is, this is definitely not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is... <coughs> If you need to help, if you need help, is to go out and ask for it. The help you need will come. Yeah, see how this lady, she's, she's making a, a decision not to go inside the door. Maybe that's her house or someone else's house, but yeah, someone's, car someone's carrying her or walking her away from the door. Um, making sure she doesn't go in there. So, you could be feeling s somewhat like that towards the end of March, just like you're um, suffering for some reason. Because when this Five of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, it's not a particularly happy indicator. You could have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you the way they should. It could be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person completely. You could be feeling, like I said, left out in the cold. 
um, <clears throat> it's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can have a soul level happy meaningful relationship with there's more than one person as a soulmate remember that and when love is right you will not have to do backflips to make it work so try to broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive <coughs> or just get positive because you're a lovable person so that explains the five of pinnacles and it's paired with this three of swords now the three of swords there's some type of sorrow and the sorrow is undeniable but what's on the other side of the sorrow it can be enhanced understanding and a lot of joy so you need to make sure you fully experience embrace any sorrow and pain that comes up in the month of March or could be towards the beginning of April make sure you experience any type of pain so that you can move beyond it you want to be able to move past it and for you to do that you need to acknowledge it and accept it and recognize it and deal with it now this three of swords it can be about some deep emotional issues that uh, you have to address before you can move on if you deny any pain it's not going to make it go away so like i said allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now but make sure you don't wallow in it you do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time however you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others won't be able to do this for you when the Three of Swords talks about love and relationships, uh, this card, it doesn't mean it's the end of a relationship, but it does point to relationship difficulty and pain. So in order for the relationship to survive, both parties must be willing to work on and talk about the relationship. You could find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving as you had supposed. So make sure you don't take it too personally or dwell too long on the pain if this is the case. Because you're being guided to a relationship that's right for you and we all know you cannot force something to be right. So, for your present time, once again, Five of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Um, you're, you're feeling like you're suffering and there's some sadness here. You could feel like um, you've been rejected by someone or a situation is making you feel rejected. And if you are with a person, if you're dealing with someone, uh, you could feel like they're shutting you out or the both of you are shutting each other out. It points to relationship difficulties that's causing a lot of sadness and um, making you feel alone. So it's dealing with some deep emotional issues that you be presented with some of you will be presented with this towards the end of the month and it could be April but um, this is a March reading uh, for the third and fourth week of March so uh, yeah so some, some situation could come along and uh, make you feel like this three of swords and this five of Pentacles and if it's not a person it's a situation could be some something happening happening at work with a co-worker or uh, just some situation that can make you feel really bad and unhappy so you're gonna have to just go ahead and deal with the pain and sorrow and um, recognize it acknowledge it so that you can move past it and so that's what we have for the present time and 
let's move on over. Let's take a look at the person you're dealing with. How they see you. Now, they see you as the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups, it's a very positive card in the tarot. Uh, when it comes to love, happiness, and affection, um, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in a lot of areas in your life. Things will start to be looking up. They'll, they'll be looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually at this time. And you'll be feeling good about yourself in general. Uh, this is a great time to make friends when you get this Ace of Cups. So when it talks about love and relationships, it's very, very good. A relationship could take a turn for the better. And for an existing relationship, if you're already in one, it can become deeper, a uh, deeper level of understanding, commitment, or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It's going to feel like a new start, an encouraging new beginning. And if you're, if there's some single cancers out there listening, when you get the Ace of Cups, a new relationship is it's on its way. It's about to appear soon. Now, this Ace of Cups is how your person is seeing you. They see you. They see you. There's a deep attraction. There's happiness, love, and a, and a lot of affection. Uh, they see you as... A beautiful new beginning possibly uh, wanting to go to the next level commitment engagement so this is really good how they see you and they also see you as this two of Pentacles now the two of Pentacles uh, it's about if you're in a relationship you're having trouble finding time and energy for each other so it's important to make sure that your relationship remains high on your priority list. Otherwise, it's not going to be there for you when you come back for it. So, it's about... Um, several things that you're trying to do, possibly two main issues in your mind that needs to be balanced out multitasking it's not your friend now so you may, you may need to cut down on um, so many things that you're doing and try to focus on two main things so you got too much going on and uh, this is how they see you as this two of pinnacles and this ace of cups so, they see you as finding it difficult sometimes to um, find time for them. But they do see this as a deep love, though. But they um, see you as possibly juggling. Yeah, you're doing some juggling. That's how they see you. And they probably want you to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. But with this Ace of Cups there, you're their happiness. And that's how they see you. So I guess you can continue to juggle. Because the Ace of Cups is very strong. It's powerful. Um, they won't be pulling back from you anytime soon. Because they see you in a very loving way. You're their happy. You're their happiness. And they, um, and their warmth. There's a deep attraction there. 
but they see you as trying to take on too much. So, once again, that's how they see you. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as Page of Pentacles and Six of Swords. Now, the Page of Pentacles, it's about boredom. Uh, you could be tempted to say or do things to shake things up, shake people up for some little excitement. But you might want to rethink that impulse, find a better use of your energy. Um, this Page of Pentacles, it's a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It gives you focus, it gives you backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. When the Page of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, if you're committed in a relationship, it's probably lost some luster. Now that doesn't mean that it's the end, but it does mean that action and discussion is necessary. So to create change, you're going to have to be honest about how you're feeling. And if you are single and you're looking for a relationship and you get this page of pinnacles, it means that you probably cannot seem to meet someone new or if you feel like you can't mean if you if you're feeling like you can't meet someone new take a look at what you're holding in your heart because you could still be attached to an ex and you may need to let that go fully let it go before you can expect to move forward so this is how you see your person you see them as this page of pinnacles um Yeah, you see them as willing to, as wanting to act on their dreams with you. Yeah, you see them as willing to um, accomplish this connection. They have a lot of desire and ambition. And they're, um, they're taking the steps to... Um, keep this connection going and that's how you see them and you also see them as the six of swords now the six of swords when it talks about love and relationships there's a need for change of scenery and if you're already in, in a relationship you might want to take your person on a trip even if it's just uh, down the street for a picnic or something of that sort so it's about this current six of swords is about movement you see they're in the in this boat and they're traveling they're, they're going somewhere they're not just he's it's not just floating in the water the boat he's using his his um his paddle or whatever that is to get it moving so it's about action it's about um movement the change could be inwardly and the change is for the better internally or externally and um, it brings about resolution so you're seeing your person like I said as this page of Pentacles and six of swords they have a lot of ambition with this page of Pentacles to act on this connection to keep it going forward and with this um, six of swords um, they're doing this so that the connection can get better bring some resolution to whatever issues that there are in this connection so they know that this is a necessary transition something that's needed so it's about this movement, this uh, Six of Swords is about any problems um, being solved. It's about recovery. So, um, 
That's why you have this page of pinnacles here. And they're acting. They're acting out of ambition to, like I said, to keep this connection moving, to keep it going. And with the Six of Swords, they want it to be better, to resolve any issues that you have, and that's how you see them. So let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to Six of Cups and the World card. Now, Six of Cups, it's about nostalgia, 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 nostalgia. It's about looking back on how things used to be. Nostalgia. I don't know why that word sounds so, so strange right now. But anyway, that's what the Six of Cups is about. It can be, but not always connected to with children or childhood. So, it's important not to spend a lot of time and effort thinking about the good old days. Um, because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then what do you think is going to happen? If you start to um, always think, wow, everything's just passed us by, what's going to happen, Cancers? What's going to happen? Well, I'll tell you. What's going to happen is... It can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So don't do that. Don't start thinking like that. Um, when this Six of Cups talks about love and relationships, um, if you're in a romantic relationship, it's indicating that a relationship probably needs to be refocused towards the future. Talk about your goals and dreams. Try new things. Stay out of the past. Try and do something new. It's important now not to stay stuck in the past. On occasions, this Six of Cups, it can signify the reappearance of an old lover or an ex. It's a long lost love. So you'll probably need to think long and hard before restarting an old romance. Because we all know exes, they're exes for a reason. So, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Um, there's a lot of happy memories in this connection. There's familiarity. There's a, there's a comfort zone here. So, that's what, one of the reasons why. And there's all, also this world card here is why it's happening um, the world card is about completion now it's it's knowing that you worked hard and you're almost to the finish line and you need to know that in some way that you shouldn't quit just don't quit now because you're really close to whatever it is you're trying to do um, you're probably in need of some rest and relaxation. So you want to take that rest, take a break if you need to. Because you're getting close to who you really are at your deepest levels. So this world card, it's about the end of a journey. So some cycle has completed with this connection. And it's the end of some type of journey. And someone in this connection could be um, either thinking about the good old days and um, or either they're just, um, they have happy memories in this connection. Or someone could be coming back from the past, but you or your person is realizing that that's the end of that cycle. So something from the past could be creeping back up on you, your person, or this connection. Something or someone from the past 
Maybe it's a situation from the past. Could be creeping back up on you guys. But you both know it's the end of that cycle. It's the end of that journey. So you will not be revisiting the past. Whatever, whatever it is that's going to come back to you from the past. It's completed. You may open the door and take a look. Or you might even have a conversation with it. But it's truly the end of that journey. You might try to get it restarted, but eventually you'll find out that that cycle has completed. And that's why it's all happening. So basically, for your reading in the present time, we had someone feeling left out in the cold. And it caused a lot of sorrow and pain. And um, then we got this new beginning with the Ace of Cups. That's how they're seeing you, as their happiness. But they saw, see it, they saw you as needing to balance out some things. Stop juggling. Stop multitasking. Or stop trying to do too much. Maybe in the connection. Uh, and then you saw them, you see them as, um, uh, there's a need for movement, uh, some type of travel, and, um, so I'm picking up that this left out in the cold keeps coming back to my mind. Left out in the cold, it has something to do with this past, something from the past that's coming back and it's gonna make it's gonna have something to do with uh, someone feeling left out in the cold yeah so whatever tries to come back like I said you're gonna realize that cycle is ended it's completed and um, you could possibly have someone feeling left out in the cold yeah if this is not you feeling left out in the cold you probably have someone feeling left out in the cold yeah someone that's trying to come back or a situation that's popping back up it's gonna make that person or that situation 